Dear colleagues, this is my pleasure to participate in iOS uh, meeting. And also I would like to thank my dear friend uh, Fawaz and organization committee. I am going to share uh, my experience regarding mesenchymal stem cell therapy in patients with retinitis pigmentosa and toxic optic neuropathy. There are uh, 45 million uh, visually impaired patients in the world and uh, retinal prosthesis, stem cells, gene therapies, occipital uh, cortex prosthesis uh, are being studied uh, to solve uh, some issues in this uh, area. And uh, we have been working uh, our uh, Arbusto retinal prosthesis, electromagnetic stimulation of the retina and optic nerve, growth factors and stem cells as, uh, as well. Uh, as seen on these slides, uh, there are uh, many congenital uh, choreoretinal dystrophies due to complex genetic mutations. Uh, uh, there are 2 million retinitis pigmentosa uh, patients in the world, and most of these are most of the young population, and it causes progressive peripheral visual uh, field uh, loss and eventual uh, complete blindness developed, and it uh, produces a lot of Soci socioeconomic and psych psychological uh, issues. And in uh, retinitis pigmentosa patients, there are degenerated autoretinal out out layers, but uh, there are still uh, intact uh, uh, and alive cells in the inner retinal uh, layers. That's why it's possible to stimulate the uh, inner. Uh, intact uh, alive cells and network by Argus to epretinal prosthesis uh, uh, and to create uh, phosphates and uh, image. And during the implantation surgery, in order to prevent the serious complications, first time in the literature we used the uh, endoscope assisted Argus to epretinal prosthesis, prosthesis implantation uh, with the uh, benefic benefits of uh, uh, endoscope. Also, we use the 3D digital vitrectomy to obtain the best, uh, best contact and stimulation between 60 electrodes and macular su surface. Uh, uh, with this um, uh, vitrectomy, it's possible to reduce retinal phototoxicity and glare, enhance the contrast by digital filtering, and also increase the, the depth of uh, perception. <laughs> After the retinal implantation, visual field, functional MRI, and near infrared spectroscopy uh, parameters improved significantly. And uh, we suggest that electrical stimulation of retina releases various uh, growth factors, and these growth factors uh, stimulate the degenerated retinal cells in the sleeping uh, mode. And uh, if we uh, uh, deliver the growth factors into the uh, outer degenerated outer retinal microenvironment, it would be possible to activate the uh, damaged uh, but alive uh, intact uh, cells. And uh, degenerated microenvironment needs various growth factors uh, in order to maintain the intraocular metabolic activities. Also, growth factors activate the embryonic multipotent progenitor cells in RPA, ciliary body, and neural cells. And uh, neurotrophic growth factors family uh, is the large family and contains many uh, growth factors, as seen on these slides, and uh, many genetic uh, mutations and uh, different uh, exogen factors causes retinal degeneration in this function. In this condition, photoreceptors and RP cells switch to dormant phase. This phase is reversible solid-like state. And in this phase, cells are alive, but their metabolism and functions are inactive. If we deliver uh, growth factors uh, into the uh, damaged uh, outer uh, retinal microenvironment, it's possible to prevent the oncosis, inflammation, and apoptosis. There is a big uh, question uh, about the uh, 
possibility uh, of growth factors. Uh, can growth factors injected into the uh, subgenome space pass through the scleral pores to the outer retina and become uh, effective? There are uh, several uh, publications in the literature, and uh, it has been shown that subgenome injected growth factors are effective in the eye by means of uh, scleral transport. Growth factors also act via torsion kinase receptors. These re receptors located at perilimal uh, region, via uh, scleral tract, extraocular muscle insertion, and ar around the optic nerve. The small uh, petites uh, pass through the scleral pores with passive diffusion, but larger, uh, larger molecules growth factors requires change in their electrical charge to pass through the uh, sclera. In, or, in order to uh, accomplish this um, uh, stimulation, uh, electrical or electromagnetic antiphorases can be used. For this purpose, we invented uh, electromagnetic stimulation devices and its trade name is MagnoVision. Uh, high frequency repetitive electromagnetic stimulation increases the passage of growth factors through the scleral pores and enhance the growth factors efficiency. This electromagnetic stimulation, namely magnovision, also acceler accelerates the uh, removal of toxic uh, uh, glutamate and regulates synaptic connection and ion uh, channels and also regulates the axonal regeneration. Uh, this is the preparation of autologous growth factors, and uh, it uh, published by us uh, several years ago. And we investigated whether growth factors have an useful effect on degenerated retina in rabbit animal model. And for this purpose, we uh, created experimental retinal degeneration model by sodium iodide, and it showed that subtenon injected autologous growth factors increase the, the rate of apoptosis and uh, decre uh, sorry decrease the apoptosis rate and increase the retinal thickness. And this ex experimental uh, data uh, encourage us to treat the retinitis pigmentosa patients with only growth factors or in combination with electromagnetic stimulation. And we also obtained meaningful, meaningful uh, outcome, uh, outcome with this research and we uh, already published the uh, uh, six month and first year uh, results. And combined use of uh, autologous PRP and electromagnetic stimulation needs uh, boost injection every five months after uh, three loading uh, dosage to maintain the uh, efficacy, efficiency. And uh, to obtain uh, this uh, goal, we have decided to investig uh, investigate the Wharton's gel-derived uh, mesenchymal stem cells, which has procrine effects for uh, four to six years with one injection. These are the resources of neurotrophic growth factors, and we use in our research uh, autologous platelet rich plasma uh, or PRP and uh, umbilical cord Wharton gel-derived mesenchymal stem cells, and we inject uh, these uh, growth factors into the uh, deep subtenon uh, space under local anesthesia. Wharton jelly drive mesenchymal, uh, mesenchymal stem cells secretes uh, exosomes uh, containing growth factors, and these are similar to the growth factors of healthy RP cells. And uh, this is natural course of retinitis pigmentosa. And there is a five to fifteen percent visual field loss uh, per year, and uh, this is the fourteen years old uh, girl with retinitis pigmentosa, and complete uh, blindness developed after two years without any uh, treatment. In order, in order to uh, prevent uh, this uh, blindness, uh, we uh, conduct we conducted a clinical study at Ankara University regarding management of retinitis pigmentosa by Wharton's jelly-derived mesenchymal stem cells. And we have published uh, our results uh, recently. Uh, 
six month and uh, first year results recently we published it. And uh, Vartangeli uh, derived mesenchymal stem cells uh, is injected into the deep subtenon intraconal space under the ultrasonic control. Subtenon space is relatively avascular and it's suitable for culture medium for Vartangeli derived mesenchymal stem cells. Uh, these are the functional outcome at baseline six month and first year uh, in terms of best corrected visual acuity, acuity visual field and ERG results. And these are the anatomical uh, outcome and genetic mutations and uh, response correlations. And uh, we can uh, see the ellipsoid zone with and out of retinal thickness in this uh, slide during the uh, follow-up. And uh, uh, the comparison of anatomical and uh, functional uh, parameters uh, at baseline six months and uh, first year, uh, uh, it has been shown that 94% um, uh, beneficial effect can be uh, possible in RP cases. This uh, treatment response uh, was higher in autosomal dominant R RP cases, and this uh, treatment response, uh, response were minimal in X linked uh, mutations. And probably this uh, population uh, requires uh, gene therapy. And this is the uh, visual field uh, enlargement during the uh, follow up after the uh, mesenchymal stem cells treatment. And this is the episode zone with uh, enlargement elongation during the uh, follow up after the uh, mesenchymal stem cells. And also, uh, auto retinal thickness increased significantly during the follow up after the uh, treatment. The upper uh, pictures show that uh, the outer uh, retinal thickness improved significantly with treatment, but lower uh, pictures show that. Without any treatment, the central eyelid uh, getting smaller and uh, lose uh, uh, at the end of the uh, first year. This is the uh, multifunctional functional ERG and follicular ERG res uh, responses and uh, uh, activation increased significantly after the uh, treatment. And uh, also accompanying and lipofuscin deposits and resistant uh, cystoid macular edema disappear after the uh, Bartongeli derived mesenchymal stem cells uh, application. And uh, as a conclusion, uh, the Bartongeli derived mesenchymal stem cells is a safe and inexpensive uh, method, and uh, it's beneficial in majority of RP cases, roughly uh, 94%. Uh, benefits and its effects last longer, uh, probably for uh, four to six years. And uh, it uh, does not uh, contain HLA antigens. That's why, uh, that's why there is no uh, cell reaction and it's not necessary uh, to do uh, tissue typing. And uh, these growth factors also immunomodulator and suppress the chronic inflammation in the uh, damaged uh, tissue. Also, we uh, conduct another clinical study at Ankara University regarding management of toxic optic neuropathy with uh, mesenchymal uh, gel drive, um, Barton gel drive mesenchymal stem cells and electromagnetic uh, stimulation. And we publish our uh, results uh, recently. Uh, we created three groups and uh, first groups only received the electromagnetic stimulation and second groups, uh, group only received the uh, uh, growth grow factor injection, and uh, third group received the both uh, electromagnetic stimulation and uh, stem cells. And 18 patients poisoned with methanol, most methanol, amiodarone, sildenafil, and carbon dioxide, and toxic optic neuropathy cause uh, ion imbalance in neurons and axons, and uh, ion imbalance causes neurons to switch into dormant phase. And it, uh, at this stage, neurons are alive, 
but unable to perform neurotransmission. After the emergency care in hospital, without any ocular treatment, progressive visual, uh, vision loss developed within the first uh, three months. And these are the structural and functional change in all three groups at baseline and at uh, fourth month. And also uh, we used the following parameters in our studies. These are the best corrected visual acuity and visual field uh, fundus parametric deviation index and the mean ganglion cell complex thickness and also uh, visual effect, effect potential uh, are being used in uh, studies. Uh, and all uh, anatomical and functional data shows that combined use of Wartongeli derived mesenchymal stem cells and electromagnetic stimulation is more effective than individual applications of uh, stem cells or uh, electromagnetic stimulation. We can see a visual field enlargement uh, after the treatment, uh, for four months later after the treatment. And uh, the nature proteins accumulated in axons cause a blockage of axoplasmic flow and swelling in ganglion cells and decrease in ganglion cell thickness until 60 micron with therapy indicates good response. With uh, this uh, improvement was higher with combined therapy and it was less with only electromagnetic stimulation group. Ganglion cell complex thickness less than 60 micron indicates severe apoptosis and atrophy and bad prognosis. These are the uh, visual uh, evoked uh, potential latency and amplitudes, and uh, it uh, they actuated significantly active, uh, after the uh, treatment uh, at uh, fourth month uh, examination. It is, as a conclusion, uh, toxic optic neuropathy is an emergency uh, uh, situation and can result in acute and permanent uh, blindness. These cases are generally untreatable uh, with current uh, medical uh, uh, current, uh, current treatment modalities. And after the proper first, first interventions in emergency clinic, combined use of Wartongeli drives, mesenchymal stem cells, and electromagnetic stimulation seems very effective uh, within uh, four months. Thank you very much for your cooperation.